Welcome back for another part of What If Deku Was Midas, part 4. A little recap. In the last video, 8-Ball and Vamp joined Midas' group. And Overhaul was sending Liz, or Lizzie, over to Midas as one of his inner circle. We go back to Midas' base as he calls for all of his agents to meet in a room where there's a big circle around. Welcome all my agents, as Midas, the Crusher, 8-Ball, Vamp, and Lizzie had all gathered. These are my, the all, you all are my agents from now on. There may be more of you to come in the future, but we must prepare and take over the black market. Sir, won't it be taking over the black market a little bit difficult? Yes, but we will be selling valuables, trade valuables, weapons, things that the Hero Safety Commission will allow us to bring into the country. And the best part is it? The heroes don't know we're doing it. How do you manage to pay off the Hero Safety Commission to allow this? I didn't pay them off directly. I paid some of the corrupt ones to turn a blind eye while I brought this stuff in. Hmm. What type of stuff, sir? Like this. As he pulls out a vial. A quark-enhancing drug. Specially made by one of my guards, or scientists, that I hired. She actually can duplicate these and make quite a few so we'll be selling them on the black market and they'll fetch a high price for a whole lot of villains out there hmm that would have for a high price then they may even use that in the fighting ring in the underworld they might do that meowthles or they may do it for other things as well like robbing banks, whatever you think. But these are, we're not just selling them to the normal, low tier villains. We're selling them to the big shots. People out there that are willing to buy them. Interesting. So, people like, what, Overhaul's group now? Yes. It precisely. Now, I want you all to get to know each other. Better, because we are going to, uh, I don't want any inner fighting in my circle. So why don't you all get to know each other? Uh, whatever you say, boss. As Deku gets up and walks out of the room. As Lizzie says, I'm going to my room. As she walks out, as a ball walks over to Vamp. Hello, Vamp. I'm 8-Ball. Nice to meet you. Vamp is hesitant, but shakes 8-Ball's hand. As Vamp is a bit shy around others. Others. And, uh, mostly doesn't come out during the day. He mostly stays in his room until night. So what should we do? Hey, I hear there's a nice, uh, room where we can watch a movie and y'all want to come in there and chill? Sure thing. Uh, hey, Vamp, you want to join us? gonna be Meowsles, me, and the Crusher. You gonna watch a movie? Sure. I don't mind at all. As they, uh, leave, as they leave and are going to their respective area, I'm going to make a time skip to the beginning of the anime. So, Overhaul was about 20 now. Darkness and Moon will be about 18. And Midas will be, uh, 26. To round it all up. As in the beginning of the anime, we, we start off with Midas and his inner circle. A few people have joined within the past few years. Like, we have a person with a saber tooth fork who does infiltration as he is very stealthy. He can turn himself into a big 
a big saber tooth, and is fast. He's only outmatched in speed when it comes to Vamp. As he was the only new recruit when it came the past few years. So Saber, that's your name, right? Yeah, that's what people call me. I know you joined us quite recently. So, do you have any questions? Sure thing. Why is it? Why does this place have Midas statues of the boss everywhere? I don't know. He likes to lay them around the base and all. I'm also curious. What is he gonna do about UA? I hear there's gonna be. I hear All Might's gonna go there. Yes, that is something. Especially with the uh, the hero Racerhead and a whole lot of others trying to crumble our black market sales. We're going to have to do something. So who do you think Midas will mobilize? Will he send you, Lizzie, Vamp, A-Ball, or Meowthles? I don't know. Honestly, uh, he may take care of it himself, but I highly doubt it. In fact, I hear he has a meeting coming up soon. Someone with a I don't remember their name, fortunately. All right. Well, I'm going to head off. Sure thing. As they walk their separate ways, we go to Midas, who's playing with Darkness and Mo Moonlight, who have turned 18. You still can't beat me in these games, as they're playing on controllers. Of course I can as they're playing uh, Jump Force, and Midas absolutely destroys them in it. You gotta be kidding me, I can't even win against you once. Don't mind that, Moonlight, you'll get better. Probably not as bad as me, but you'll get better. Uh, I guess you're right. Well, anyway, let's go. I think it's about time y'all become agents. As both Darkness and Moonlight look at him. Really? Yes. I think y'all have earned it. As they're now old enough and know how to use their quarks. As both their eyes light up. I would like y'all to go train with Lizzie. Your first mission happens tomorrow. As they're both excited, they go over to Lizzie, who's just chilling, laying on the balcony. Hey, Lizzie. We're here to train with you, as she looks over. Oh, it's you two. I remember when y'all were just easy bitty. What, ten? Eleven? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but it really felt like it was yesterday. As my inner circle has grown to each other and attached to where all of them respect one another, and they've gotten to know each other so well. And here's what they look like. This is what Moonlight and Darkness costumes look like. So what do you think of our designs of our outfits? Honestly, I, I like them. They fit you both. I don't know why the bird mask, though, Darkness. I kind of like the look of the Plague Doctor. It fits. Eh, I can't deny, it does fit. Moonlight, yours also fits very well with you. Why, thank you. I really enjoy this. Also, Midas said these bandages look good on me. As referring to the bandages around her head and the eye. Yeah, it does look good on you with the design and all that. It works well. Well, anyway, let's get down to it. As they get down to a practice field. Now... The first one to knock me out wins. As both darkness, or, yeah, darkness and moonlight rush at her. Moonlight throws a right hook, and darkness goes for a sweep, uh, to sweep her legs. Lizzie jumps, hits moonlight in the face, and drop kicks darkness in the head, and then swirls around, kicking moonlight away and does a backflip and lands on her feet. 
It's going to take you a lot more than that to defeat me. As Darkness uses her quark, and everything goes black for a second. As Moonlight tries to punch from behind, but Lizzie senses it and turns around and socks Moonlight in the face. But then Darkness comes out of nowhere, kicking Lizzie in the back, then near flying a few feet. Not bad. Y'all have improved over the years. As Liz Lizzie rushes and uses her cork to go invisible, they don't know where she went as they both get neck chopped and fall to the ground unconscious. Yeah, y'all still can't sense me when my cork's activated. A shame, though. Y'all got really good. Y'all should really try combining your quarks and working together more. Oh, wait. I knocked y'all out, didn't I? Oh, my bad. As Lizzie takes them and lays them on couches. Oh, I guess it means I get a break. As she walks away. And we go to Midas, who is in a car. Driving with two of his guards. Okay, we should be here any moment. As he stops at a abandoned building, as he walks in. And orders his guards to guard the vehicle. As he walks into the abandoned building, he sees the Hero Safety Commission president and Hawks. What do you want? As I said, you wouldn't have called me here for any other reason than you wanted something. Am aren't I, and I, aren't I right? <sighs> Fair point, Midas. Anyway, straight to business. So I want you to eliminate a certain hero. I'm sorry, I already told you, I do not eliminate people. I'm not into that kind of business, after all. I'm not going to do your dirty work. After all, you have Hawks there to do it. As Hawks gets a little mad, as the Safety Hero Commission president calms him down, I'll pay you double that usually. I'm sorry, I've got plenty of money. As you can tell, I don't need payments. I will tell the heroes that you've been doing illegal bringing in weapons to the country. Oh, really? And then I will release these videos that will show how much you're corrupted. As he pulls one of the videos on, showing experimentation on people with quarks. Like you haven't been doing this. Where did you get those? As Hawks was going, grabs his feathered sword and goes to cut Midas. As Midas grabs the sword and it turns to gold. You really want to fight with me, bird boy? Hawks, back off. As Hawks backs off. So I will give you this. Two choices. Miss Hero Safety President. Whatever. Either you do nothing and I release these videos, or you let one of my men into UA. Why would I let one of your men into UA? You're nothing but a villain. Oh, really? It says the person who's trying to bribe me to do her dirty work. And now, again, you let my men go in, you let one of my men go in UA, and, we'll, and I'll erase these videos. And I'll forget about him. Do we have a deal? I'll even let that incident with Hawks trying to murder me go. Because normally I would send one of my agents and they would de deal with you themselves. <sighs> Fine. Name the person. Hmm. Someone that I don't call upon is not well known. Yes. I want you to call upon... Hmm. Cyborg. Or... Cy, I call him. He uh, has a cybernetic quark. He's also one of my new agents I've just brought on. He will be in UA. And since he's not a well-known villain, no one knows him. No one will know he's a villain. No record, no nothing. Fine. 
to show me a picture. As he tosses a picture of Cyborg, or Cy, that's what he looks like. He'll be going to UA, eh, give or take, UA entrance exam day. He'll work as some sort of staff member, probably a janitor, whatever you give him, doesn't matter. He'll just be at UA. That's all I care about. As the Hero Safety Commission President is irritated at this. Oh, and remember, you can't do nothing to him. Because I'll know. As I have an eye everywhere. As you, were as you were referring to, like, some person. Does Midas have a secret spy somewhere in the Hero Safety Commission? Or is it a person that could see anything? Hmm. Well, that's for later to find out. So, do we have a deal? Fine. It's a deal. You'll be there on the entrance exam day, correct? Yes. As a new staff member. Fine. As Myas walks out with a grin. Gullible as ever. She doesn't learn. Thinking she can control me. As he gets into his car. Now... Send this message to Meowsos for me, if you would. Sure thing, boss. Send, uh... Eight Ball, Crusher, and Vamp to deal with this certain hero. I owe her at least that. Oh, and I don't care if they make a scene this time. Tell them that, too. Why well, send three agents, sir? One of them should be enough to get rid of him. Oh, they're not just getting rid of him. They know what to do. They're getting rid of loose ends everywhere. What do you mean, everywhere? It seems someone has been leaking our stuff on the black market. And they know it, too. So they're not just going to deal with the hero. They're also going to deal with who's been leaking our information. As we go to... Shigaraki and... Kurigiri, going to an abandoned building. Is this the place, Kurigiri? I believe so, Master. As they walk up and they see men in gold and white suits, and they see moonlight and darkness there, but also meowsles. What's up? This is your host here today, Meowsles, and today I'm going to be selling some quality items for y'all today. First up on the agenda, we got some nice AK-47s for sale, and they're on sale. Get it? Half price today, as we have a new product we're going to be introducing on the black market today. As a lot of high-ranking villains are cheering, as Sugar Rocky and Curry aren't convinced for the AKs, but some people are buying them. Next on is this high-grade military jeep we got from the U.S. Fully calibrated machine gun on top, armor-piercing doors, or in reinforced doors, and bulletproof glass. This baby will be able to take punches from heavy people with heavy quirks, and any type of fire resistance will go right over. As, there's quite a few bids for that. But again, Shigaraki and Kurgiri are not interested. And next, the quark-enhancing drugs we've developed. Now, we have a few more than usual. A total of, what, ten? When we usually have, like, one always on sale. Or sold each time we have these meetings. So ten, you're going to get a lot more than what you bargained for with this one, people. And we'll start the bid at a good... Let's say $10,000. As the villain raises his hand, $15,000. Another one raises his hand, 16 Another one, 17 As then, Shigaraki raises his hand, 20000 As another villain then raises his hand, and it happens to be Overhaul, 50000 As basically the whole crowd looks over at Overhaul, as Shigaraki looks over at him, 60000 70,000. 75,000. 100,000. As Shigaraki backs off. 
knowing he can't outbid him. Sold to the man in the bird mask. As Moonlight brings the vials over to him. Here you go, Mr. Overhaul. As he grabs the case. As Shigaraki glares. But they didn't really come here for the vials. As soon as Overhaul got what he came for, he leaves. As he goes to talk to the person that runs the place, Meowsles. As Moonlight and Darkness are there with him. I hear y'all run this business, so I would like to do this. Why don't you have any more of those modified cork-enhancing drugs? You sell them to me first. As Meowsles says... That won't be happening, as we respect our buyers, and they always go on a bid. So, maybe luck next time, man. How about this? Y'all work for me, and I'll give you double what y'all make. As Meowsles bursts out laughing. <laughs> you really think you can pay me more than my boss? As Shigaraki's shocked cause, and Kirigiri, because they didn't have any information that Meowsles worked for someone. My boss pays me about a million a year or more. Good luck doubling that. As Meowsles walks off, a Shigaraki is about to a Shigaraki's about to grab him. Moonlight makes the area around him all white and punches him as he hits a wall. You really think you can attack us and not get and we won't notice? Nice try, Handface. Next time you do that, I'll make sure to kill you. And Shigaraki gets back up, and Kurigiri gets him out of there. Hmm. What should we do about him? Should we tell Midas? Meowsel says, no need. He's just some low thug or something. New to the villain world, guaranteed. Why do you let him come, then? I like to see these new organizations just crumble at the weight. I was surprised how much he was bidding, though. He must have had a lot of money. Whatever. He didn't bid out our most valuable customer overhaul, after all. No one can really outbid him. He pretty much buys the cork-enhancing drug every time. As we move on to Deku's base, where people are meeting up as they get a message saying what heroes to go after. And all that, and this is where I'm going to end part four. I hope you all enjoyed, and sorry about the cats in the background. They just like to mess around. Well, I hope you all enjoyed part four. Make sure to like and subscribe.